Hello students. So in this video we are going to derive the demand curve using the cardinal approach. Now first of all, what is a demand curve? Demand curve is actually a curve that shows the combination of price and quantities. It basically shows those quantities where the consumer is satisfied. It shows that quantity which a consumer is ready to purchase at a given price. So it means on any point on a demand curve a consumer is at equilibrium. We can also say that it is a curve that shows the locus of the points where the consumer is at equilibrium. Now under the cardinal approach we understand what is the condition of equilibrium. The condition of equilibrium is marginal utility of x should be equal to the price of the commodity. So that means that is the point of consumer equilibrium. So by changing the price of the commodities we can easily find the various points of consumer's equilibrium and joining those points we can find out the demand curve. So under cardinal approach the equilibrium is attained at mux is equal to px. So actually in simple words marginal utility curve itself is the demand curve. Let's see how that works. Just have a look at the graphs. On the graph A I have drawn the marginal utility curve and on graph B we have the demand curve. Let's plot this graph point by point. So for graph A on y axis we have utility and on x axis we have quantity. And we see that marginal utility curve is a downward sloping curve. Now here I have the first, second and the third combinations at MU1, MU2 and MU3. So that means MU1 shows the level of marginal utility and certain quantity that a consumer buys. MU2 shows a certain quantity where the utility is MU2. Now let's say the price of the commodity is P1 and P1 is equal to MU1. P1 is equal to MU1. Since we know that at equilibrium marginal utility is equal to price so that means it becomes my first point of equilibrium. If I reduce my price to P2 I can get the second point of equilibrium as well. Similarly if I reduce the price to further P3 we can again find another point of equilibrium on the MU curve itself. So on X on Y axis instead of utility we can put price as well. And instead of MUX curve, we can write it as a demand curve as well. Because remember, at equilibrium, marginal utility is equal to the price of the commodity. And demand curve is nothing but the locus of the consumer equilibrium points itself. So if I start removing the utilities from this curve, we can see this is how our demand curve looks like. So, for the fine diagram, this is how the demand curve looks like. The one change is that the MU curve touches the x-axis and goes negative. But the demand curve can never touch x-axis or go negative because price can never be zero or negative. So, Basically, marginal utility curve above the x-axis is the demand curve itself. So this is how we derive the demand curve using the cardinal approach. I hope this is clear to all of you.